What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Rob and Alex here ready to react to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Season 13, Episode Number 9. In the last episode, we saw Charlie uh, get left home alone. Obviously. Home. Home alone. Yeah, home alone at the bar. Uh, he, they, The gang went to... Well, actually, I didn't even see Dennis. Dennis wasn't in the last episode, was he? Did Dennis steal the green man suit? I don't know. Because it looked pretty short. Like it could have passed for Charlie. Yeah, I don't know, that's, but you're right. I don't remember seeing Dennis at all. Which makes sense because um, we found out through this season, this is when Dennis is, uh, the actor started doing sporadic episodes as opposed to every single episode. So he's in less episodes. He wanted to do other ventures, but you know that's a whole separate thing. Um, yeah, but hasn't he been in every episode up until that one? Yeah, but remember the Bog, the Boggs reboot? Oh, he wasn't in that one. Okay, so there were two episodes he was missing from. Yeah, so he's in less episodes, which makes sense. He wants to do an adventure out, do other projects. Um, But, yeah, so I don't think we saw Dennis in the last episode. Someone's in that green man suit. It might be Dennis, it might not be, but based on their their, their figure and their, their height, I don't think it is. But they're all going to the Eagles game. Charlie was looking for the, the suit, got left in the bar, thought they were burglars, ended up setting everything like Home Alone, the movie, all the traps, and ended up falling for all those uh, traps himself. So he's stuck in this bear trap. He ended up eating a rat for the brown, uh, drinking yellow, drinking piss for the yellow, and wearing paint, green paint for the wearing green. Look, it's really unfortunate all of this happened to Charlie, especially because, like, it's so frustrating how how dumb he is for letting it happen to him. Like, it was it was clearly it was self inflicted to a degree. Yes. Um, but I am I am grateful because, as I had stated, as it was happening, I thought for sure they were gonna have Matthew walk in and fall into all those traps. That would suck. But he was on the bus, so was he? Yeah, he went with them. I don't remember seeing him. I saw Uncle Jack for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why he was uh, there. I saw the I saw the waitress was there for a moment. I don't, but I didn't see her get on the bus. Yeah, they all got on the bus. I am glad for Cricket though. He gets to have a good day for once. <laughs> but this is the second part, so maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> we'll find out. But I'm more curious about who's in that green man suit. By the end of the episode, uh, episode eight, we saw that the Eagles were losing. Charlie had gotten free of the bear trap, but obviously his superstition and his hallucinations were telling him to put his foot back in the bear trap and he's got his dilemma to figure out. So we're gonna see. It's not much of a dilemma to me. Like I don't I don't understand how like people could be so that into sports that they have to go through these uh, rituals. Yeah. I mean if Charlie if Charlie puts himself back into the bear trap on purpose, I mean, that, that's on him. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, that's his, that's his superstitions, man. All right? Don't, don't blame him. But, uh, yeah, let's just jump right in. Season 13, episode number 9. Where is it? It was right here. I cannot find it. And by the way, Matt, what are you even talking about? The word is superstition. Okay, so it just said one year ago. I know what Did the, the previous is, episode Charlie. say that too? I'm your green man suit I think is a so. stupid superstition. But really? Okay, I'm just trying to understand. Keyboard. Make sure we're not also, doing some do? time skip uh, that I wasn't expecting. Fan, so shut the hell up. I'm not a Cowboy fan. I'm a Tony Romo fan. And he retired. So now I bleed green. Go for it. Oh, Matthew is there. Okay. Who are all those other people, though? Well, there's Ponderosa, Uncle Jack. Uncle Jack, for some reason, in his fake hands. Waitress. Oh, come on. No big giant and ridiculous soldier. Oh, that's the soldier? I'm not making you go at all. <laughs> Mac, this is the salt of the earth. These people represent Philadelphia. Yeah. That's right. You have literally picked out the biggest pieces of shit in the city. <laughs> what is in your mouth? Chew. Awesome. Cool. Good to oh see you. God. <laughs> Cricket. Yeah, baby. Bad news. You're out. What? What? Wait, why? Well, you are why? literally the worst representation of the entire city. Uh, that's messed up. I feel like he's more friends with. That's that's not cool. But Uncle Jack could stay. I was about to say, like, why would they keep Uncle Jack? He actually is the worst. Yeah. 
It's just not like overtly out there. Okay, my theory that Matthew is in the green man suit is, <laughs> is, 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 is in there again. What the fuck? Why? There's not that many songs about Philadelphia. Uh, Charlie, what happened to your nose? I knew it. <laughs> You're bleeding, man. It's all right. Get it, it's me. It's me. I snuck on, all right? Football sucks, but if Charlie missed the bus, he missed the bus. I'm not missing a second of my dream boat. Wait, what? Tommy terrific! Oh, 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 no, 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 Get loosed inside. Oh, oh, that was bad. That was bad. You're not looking so good, oh. Frank. Yeah. You want to approach What the fuck happened? No. Brought a couple no. cases of my new Invigoron berries to hock at the game. Invigoron? You're involved in that pyramid scheme? He's in that. Not... Uh... No, <laughs> Who got it? Who got him into it? Just be meat, okay? Well, take off your shirt, please. What? I'm cold, Mac. <laughs> and you? What's going on? I feel on like Mac you? had some fine. ulterior motives for bringing Rex. Yeah. Cramping. I'll be fine. We are never ever going to make it to the Super Bowl. Good. Well. What? Damn you, Frank, and your money. Yeah. I like how he picks and chooses when he wants to spend. <laughs> Seriously. Guys, let's go to the stadium and see what we can get ourselves into. Guys, guys, let's just stay in the box, all right? You know, for the whole game, everybody just stays in the box. <laughs> Booze. You know, that's that's kind of like what we're famous for. You know, we, we boo ourselves, we boo the Eagles, we boo Santa Claus. Let's save our booze for the team. Santa that Claus. <laughs> and that's the most successful franchise in the history of organized sport. All right. Would a person with pink eye do this? Oh, oh my how did God. You do that? Oh. What? That's guys, horrible. Kick off. Kick off. Kick off. Kick off. Kick off. Look, guys, stay positive. Stay positive. Everyone's going to get it, right? Probably. Uh, wow. Button. Again? Who oh, that's me. Yeah, I, I choked down some dogs too fast. <laughs> they, they didn't settle, you know. They came back up, actually. On the other dogs. Yeah, we're going to need uh. some reinforcements here, pal. Can we get some binoculars up in here, Gross. too? Oh, my God. <laughs> How did I move all the way to Minnesota, and I'm still Dude. waiting on you people? Go. Yeah. What are you talking Go. About? I've waited on you. Uh, I don't know this guy. No, you never waited on us. Uh -uh. We don't live in Minnesota, right? Yeah. I have waited on you back, and I, you know what? Just don't <laughs> Get out. What's the point? I'm just going to go do my job. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Who did it? Tied his shoelaces together. What God the damn it. fuck, dude? He's you guys are assholes. Me. He's not ready for your big city shenanigans, Frank. <laughs> Go. Wait, right, go get us some beer, would you? They're fucking assholes. <laughs> Why do you need to go together? I don't know. That's weird. Listen, Frank. This kid is still better not screw us up. I can manage. This ain't my first rodeo. The PAT is no good. He missed it. We don't see the touchdown, and then they miss the extra point? D, how'd the Eagles score? Who knows? I can't see a goddamn thing this high up. These seats are the worst. You can't see because you have a very serious bacterial infection in your eye. <laughs> hey, you got new hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> All right, when we get close to the field. Oh, oh God. Your eyes are looking real bad. Oh. Yeah, that pink eye is disgusting. That's so so gross. Can go, but I'm, I'm just going to cover you up so people don't know that you're from Philadelphia. Go. Go. Nobody leaves the box, all right? And you take off the goddamn shirt. Why? Oh shit. Oh wow. What am I looking at here, Rex? It's the Invigoron berries, man. They're loaded with sugar, but I'm in too deep. I gotta sell 40 cases of this stuff. Or I'm gonna go lose my apartment. Every time Frank goes to the bathroom, the Eagles score. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. Are you pissing? You motherfuckers. Piss, Frank, piss. Yeah. Pissing it hurts like shit. No, just, What's going on with the game? Just keep peeing. I don't know. It's not updated. Throws into the end zone. Touchdown. Up to them. Up to them. I don't know, Frank. I don't know. What happened? What? Hey, yo! Connie, what happened? Eagles score! Oh! Yeah! Oh, oh no. shit. Perfect timing, man. I need to get this out of Brady. Oh no. <laughs> to go out. He's really wiping that sweat off with that towel. I mean, he's really going at it. Just squirt some out, man. Squirt it out. Poor Brady. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. Force it out. Then where is Pondy with the beard? We're losers. All of Philadelphia. We're angry, and we're mean, and we're cruel. Uh, no, that's just friends. you guys. And now these assholes, they can't even bring us beer so that you can pass the stone and we can win the game. Those guys are Philadelphia. They bust their ass every day just to get through. And then on a Sunday, they put all their hopes into the Eagles. And year after year after year, their team lets them down. And they get angry. And that anger builds into a stone of fury. And if it could just be released... Then we can feel something different. Are you blaming the Eagles for your kidney stone? <laughs> you, me, us, those guys, the whole city of Philadelphia could feel like champions. Frank, you gotta push that stone out right now. Well, you can do it. I can do it. You can do it. Piss it out. Do it for the purpose. I can't imagine how painful do that it is. City yeah. Philadelphia, man, push. Brady with white to his white. It's like something was wrong with his eye. Brady <laughs> Man. <laughs> So messed up. You did it! Bruno Mack, we did it! 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 Fair weather fan! Fair weather fan! You're from Minnesota! That's okay! What? I owe you an apology. You guys are true representations of the city of Philadelphia. And we came together... That's really sad. ...as a city. And guys, we helped the Eagles win the Super Bowl. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Ben. Or Rex. But I mean, you got Ponderosa. Oh, the, you got Ponderosa, the Nightman. The Nightman. Matthew. You screwed it up. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Do a superstition. Frank, T, P, P. I'm dry. Somebody do a superstition quick. Charlie. Well, did you do your superstitions? Brady's going to Gronk. We're screwed. I got one thing left to do. All right, well you better hurry up. No, you can't turn this into a superstition. You're gonna have to do this every game, dude. Come on. He's crying in pain, right? Come on. <laughs> Poor Charlie, man. What a win for the Eagles, and what a win for the city of Philadelphia. <laughs> Uncle Jack's worried about his hands falling off. season 13 episode number nine of it's always sunny uh it seems as though matt came around to the superstitions phil uh, the eagles won uh poor charlie i have to say his leg is fucked charlie did not have to put his foot in the goddamn bear trap <laughs> it's, it's so oh god that concept is just so dumb mac frank passing the kidney stone really well mac forced him That's to well, no, I'm not saying that, like, he shouldn't have done it. Like, obviously, he needed to get that shit out of him. <laughs> Otherwise, who knows how long he'd be suffering. But, like, do we, like, are we really supposed to believe that now, whenever they want the Eagles to win, Mac's going to have to, or, or Charlie's going to have to go step in a bear trap and Frank's going to have to go to the bathroom and pass a kidney stone somehow? <laughs> Probably. Uh, they, they once again met up with that waiter. That, that poor guy. 
they always embarrass. They never remember who he is. I swear, man. Like, if I was him, the second I see them, I walk out. Like, you can't, you can't deal with these people. Yeah. It is unfortunate, though. I am happy for Cricket, though. He did get to enjoy a day of eating. Yeah, it looked like he he had fun. He got more than lemons. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Waitress was having a good time, so good for her. Yep. And Uncle Jack was worried about his foam. He had two foam fingers to cover up his hands. Of course, unfortunately, Ben got grease on his jean shorts. Uh, but yeah, Eagles won. Good for the gang. No Dennis. Birds. Yeah, no, uh, no Dennis this episode. But it was a pretty decent episode. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed our reactions. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a brand new video. And with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one.